in the morning there's so much going on before the sun comes up and you really have to be there to appreciate it you really can't describe it and you see so many things that people don't believe because i've seen two whales in the bay once in a while we'll see a skate and last year we had porpoise right in the creek here and there's also a lot of american eagle nests in this area so that's a real coup if you can see an american eagle start with the operations you have to put so much gear in the water and it has to be in a precise area in a precise manner and then you have to catch them and you give everybody a, a dip net and then the fun begins He's extremely knowledgeable, as are most of the watermen, about um, the different type, types of fish, you know, things that they can catch, how to prepare them, where to find them. Um, I'm just overwhelmed sometimes by their knowledge, what, what they really do know about the bay. We want to both help the communities come up with a new way to diversify um, their business while maintaining their culture and their traditions, and also find ways for people to connect with the Chesapeake Bay, um, connect with the crabs and the oysters, and learn a little bit more about the bay's natural history and where their seafood comes from.